Today is gonna to be an amazing day, guys. You won't believe what we're gonna do. That's right, the 2023 egg season is officially started as of right now. This is actually my first carpet python clutch in the last couple of years. It's a beautiful jungle carpet python, and she's a protective little mama, so I'm gonna to have to definitely be careful. Now, it doesn't look like a really big clutch by any stretch, but I'm gonna just try to see if I can get her off without her biting me. Oh, nope, doesn't look good. It's okay, whoa, hang on now. Come on, girl. All right, I'm gonna need some backup here. I'm gonna just use this to kind of keep her away from biting me. Doesn't have a lot of eggs in here, but certainly a beautiful animal. Ooh, she is fired up. Come on, little girl, you got it. That's all right, sweetheart. Just trying to get you off and get these eggs, okay? Whoa. Oh, yep, yep, she's biting now. I think I'm just gonna actually grab the eggs. That way I don't have to take her out. Again, a pretty small, whoa, calm down. Got some slugs in here and there's just a handful of good eggs, but this is actually, again, a jungle carpet python. They're a little bit smaller than a normal carpet python. Typically get about four and a half, five foot right in that range, but you can see she is really fired. Fired up. Like I said, she didn't have the best of clutch. She has two, four, six good eggs, four slugs, but she's still protecting like can you can't believe. Look at this. So it's not the biggest clutch by any stretch, but hey, we'll take what we can get. They're absolutely beautiful. And guess what? That's not the only clutch we got today. You've never fed. Well, I guess we've done this. Oh, Mike. I'm sorry. He has we've that done problem. this a little. Yeah, yeah, I've done it a lot. Okay, come on, Mike. This is your first time oh, going to be can feeding. Can you just put the mouse down while you talk? <laughs> I talk with my hands just like you're doing too, okay? Okay. Listen. Do I have right to say away. Beetlejuice three times no, for him to appear? Just, you're going to get him, he's going to oh run God. down. Oh my God, I'm like stressed. Open it. And then pull him down, pull him down. You got oh. Can you hit me in the nose oh, with his throat, please? Oh, you just. Tail whip me in the face. Oh, Connie. 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 cares about me. Connie. Expendable Connie over here. Connie. Connie. Oh. They're making me so mad. They're making me so mad. <laughs> Shut up. We have two more. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Stage him. Run, him up, run him up the floor. Run him up the floor. I was supposed to be doing this. Okay, Somehow here, I've got here, I lost. Connie. Here, Connie. Don't let him grab it until he goes all the way back in. You gotta move it. You gotta act like it's alive. I'm Beetle a little mouse. Up. I'm a little mouse. Yeah, here you go, Beetlejuice. In. Yeah, Connie. Oh. Woo! I keep getting whipped with the tail. Sorry. That really hurt. Like it made my eye water. Are you gonna ditch me? No, I don't want to. All three of us are trying to high five you. At the all middle. three of us at the same time. <laughs> Terrible. I got it. Please. And our next clutch of eggs is actually our first pygmy python from Australia, the Antaracea. This is actually a Stimson eye. Actually, now they're considered children eye because they actually combine the Stimsons and the children's together. I don't personally agree with it because I think a Stimson eye looks so different and that is a massive clutch of eggs right there. I mean, that is absolutely one of the largest clutches of eggs and she isn't quite as defensive as that carpet python that you can see railed me and got me bloodied up and stuff like that. See, she's still trying to protect her egg. That is just an absolutely incredible incredible clutch from this beautiful I'm still calling them Simpson pythons even though theoretically they are children's pythons now but look at that clutch right there two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen nineteen eggs i have never had a clutch of 19 eggs from a stimson's before that is an absolute ripper of a clutch right there and these guys hatch in about 52 days so they hatch a little bit quicker than most pythons so we're gonna have little baby stimson's here in less than two months quickly get up to run oh my God. <laughs> okay <laughs> it's time to eat out you know what i need oh so Nickerdoodles. It's Mike on Celsius. We normally deal with Mike Fahrenheit, but now we're dealing with Mike Celsius. <laughs> it's charging up! Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god. Sitting yourself is good. No, wait. It's so close to my mom. Oh my god, Mike. It's, it's wet. We, want, we had to thaw him out. Elvis. Blue ball gets him excited and he wants to chase. Red ball is one that we do with the feeding on the weekend. So if you come feed him, this is what we do. It's just so he notices it and then he gets rewarded. So he's not chasing people. Right. Good boy. Go ahead and put it right in his face. Pull it up. Good job. Ooh, that was a good shot. Thanks, dude. Breaking the fourth wall. Good boy. Wow, you're a superstar. He's the big growing boy. He's like the claw. Ooh, Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Whoa. See that man I almost lost a finger. That was so scary, man. <laughs> you gotta turn him off. Ooh. Okay, turn off. It's not like a light switch. Turn off. Wait, what happened? Oh, that, that worked. Cool. 
Alrighty guys, little Drogo treat day. My friend, actually who has some sloths, told me that her sloth loves to eat freeze dried bananas. Drogo's a little picky sometimes, let's see what he thinks. Oh, and I think he likes it. He didn't spit it out at me yet. So Drogo, what are you rating that between one to 10? Solid eight. Eight, definitely. Nope, I think we're two. He's a two. We're gonna be frosty boy. Is that pretty good or no? Yeah. I feel like when I try to do a Midwestern, it doesn't come out, but oh, if that's I just... What that was? Oh, that was like nerdy kid. Like... Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wait, right, do a safe? Okay, yes. That was exhilarating, bro! Take that. There you go. Come on, come Good boy. As you guys can see, Frosty's doing fantastic with the ball. I know we've talked about it. You know, we still got to get him used to the handling and petting kind inside of it. I like Frosty. Vanilla or chocolate? Chocolate, definitely. Oh, facts. Come on up, come on up. Oh, you already started. Ah, ah, oh, ah. You know, this was actually the first meal he ever ate for us was rodents. Go ahead and turn him off food, don't get bit. Mike, he's yeah. off, he's fine. You're better at turning things off, can you do it? I'm really good at this. Oh, you go boy. Actually, I don't think you're turning it off as well as I thought you would be. Maybe it's that new condo you got. Would you stop? Well, where the range of pour is actually in a good way here because I have a couple clutches of ball pythons. Now we've been waiting for these to start to lay and these are the first clutches of the year. It's just kind of ironic that we had carpet pythons, we had Simpsons pythons, and now we have our first ball pythons of the year. This is actually a pet for sunset and it's actually bred to a sunset cine. And it's a pretty good clutch of eggs. We've got a really severe boob egg here, but I think it's actually pretty good. We do have one little slugger here and then we have a series of other boob eggs here, but they all look good and they're very small eggs which is good because you know they'll still hatch out big enough and they'll be really beautiful and there's quite a few eggs here so for the first clutch of the year all python wise i'm pretty excited about it we've got two four six eight nine beautiful eggs so hopefully in 57 days we'll be able to cut this clutch be the first egg cutting of the year and again it's a het sunset bred to a cine sunset so theoretically half the baby should be sunset we should have a bunch of cine stuff in there so it should be pretty cool we do have one more clutch to pull you calm down you berry face iguana okay i'm not filming with you right now okay Since we're on the topic of eggs and stuff, this is crazy. He is so fired up. So this is the big beautiful girl. <clears throat> Dirt in here. This is the big beautiful girl that laid eggs. Also, ever since I've, <laughs> I have absolutely fell in love with the black-headed python, and they're, they've always been one of my favorites. I seen Steve Irwin playing with them as a kid. She is so trying to bite my hand right now. But I actually got nailed by her before. You wanna put a little? preview of that. Oh, she's loosening. I'm going to try to get her off before she uh... She's going to tighten back up. Re-grabs. Mike, how's it going? Is it working? I don't think she wants to let go. I know. you. Alright, so we're going to have to do it the old school way, alright? I don't know. Ow. I can help you. Do you want me to help you or just want to wait it Yeah, out? I guess you're the pro, right? Oh, like this? she's so tight right now. I know, she's going to dig in a little bit. Oh, too late. But oh! I'm going to unfry her jaw a little bit. Just don't, don't move too much. Don't move too much. Um, not trying to. It sucked really, really bad. But then she laid her beautiful eggs. We're actually only so. Nope. We're actually only like a week away from them hatching, and I really, really hope that the babies are not as upset as she is all the time because. What are you doing? We're talking about black eggs. The eggs hatching. Oh, not from Black History Month. Oh, it's gonna get you too. It's not. Okay, come on, let me hear some facts. We were talking about the eggs. How excited we were about the eggs hatching. I was hoping so that excited. they were not as upset as she was all the time. That would be cool if we actually could have a nice blackhead. Yeah, it's like a walnut pie that one. I think these are prettier than the walnuts. Have you ever seen the eggs? Do they look like every other snake? No. So then no. I've never seen their eggs. You wanna look at the eggs? Yeah, because you're excited. Yeah, I am excited. So what a day. I tell you what, this is amazing. I tell you, oh, and she's got eggs kind of all over the place. Looks like we've got some infertile ones in here too. So this isn't very great. We also have an egg that obviously has been rolled. You see how the paper is on the bottom here? Obviously this was stuck to the bottom and she rolled them. So at some point she came off her eggs. It looks like this one is the same way. I'm just going to put these in here. We're definitely going to have to candle these guys and she is definitely not happy. Don't bite me, please. Okay, good girl. So, okay, well, it's not too terribly bad. Mainly good eggs. This is actually a genetic stripe. It was bred to a pastel banana genetic stripe so it's a recessive mutation all the babies will be genetic stripe some will be pastel genetic stripe some will be pastel banana genetic stripe some will be banana genetic stripes all together so we have two four six seven good eggs going to definitely have to can these eggs because i know that they've been rolled around but all in all not too bad the first two clutches of the year i'm happy with and why do we candle eggs is because the actual embryo attaches itself to the top with an air bubble that actually allows to breathe if that bubble is actually on the bottom they can drown right so it's very important to make sure the embryo is on the top now they 
have probably like 10, 12, maybe even a little bit longer before it actually adheres. But this clutch, you can see it's been laid a while. I think that these guys are definitely at a situation where if I don't get that embryo in the right spot, they'll drown. So let's go ahead, turn the lights off, and we'll go ahead and candle these guys. Ooh, that's dark. And again, I'm just gonna take my phone. You can take a flashlight, you can do anything like that. And I'm just looking for the actual embryo right here. And you can see it right there at the top. That's the actual embryo. So it was turned just a little bit, not too terribly bad. It was definitely turned a little bit. Doing the exact same thing with this. See, the embryo is right on the top right there. That looks perfect. And then I think the majority of these other eggs, nope, this one's definitely turned too. And interestingly enough, see where that paper is? It actually threw me off because that embryo probably moved around after she rolled the egg. So that embryo isn't attached. This one is definitely upside down. See the embryo right there, perfect. But yeah, so these eggs definitely got scrambled up and got moved all over the place. The embryo is right there. And I think these last two were actually in her coil. So I'm assuming that they're probably gonna be on the right side. Nope, this one's turned too. See, and there's the embryo. You can actually see the black eye of the snake right there. Now. But that's it, so uh, all the rest look good. So yeah, that's why we candle eggs. And guess what guys, the 2023 ball python season is officially started. Look at these eggs. Okay, I know I said they didn't look just like your other snake eggs, but look how big they are. Like, they're way bigger than a ball python egg. Well, yeah, blackheads are way bigger snakes than the ball pythons. Can I just win for once? Dang, those eggs are crazy! Dude, look, look how, how big, big they, they are. are! Right? That's what I'm saying. That's and crazy! So they hatch just about the same as a ball python, so we only have a week left and these guys should be hatched. Are we going to cut them? Are we going to cut them? Probably not. Oh, dang. Anyways, Can I touch it? Don't poke it. Oh, black Wait, python, black so, headed, black, black uh, tipped mouth headed snake eggs. And the eggs keep coming as if a carpet python wasn't enough, ball pythons weren't enough. Again, we now have a colubrid. The colubrid season is off and running. We did get some house snake eggs. This is actually right here. Take a look at this. This is a double head for snow hognose snake. So it's azanthic albino. And then it's bred to an albino anaconda that is het for snow. So let's hope there's some good eggs in here. I love western hognose snakes and it's great. So I always want to start the year out with a banger clutch. And this is definitely a banger clutch if it's fertile. Looks like good eggs to me. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch, oh my gosh, there's a bunch of them here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set them here. I usually use hatch right when it comes to hognose snakes. I don't use vermiculite. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of eggs in here. I just find that if you use vermiculite, the shell kind of gets permeated by water a little bit more. Gosh, there's even more eggs. I can't believe that girl laid this many eggs. We used to use peat moss, which was actually another good thing too. But I found that hatch right works probably even better. And it's a little bit simpler. Let's just check around and see if there's any more eggs. But this is a monster clutch of eggs right here. Oh my gosh, oh, yep, one more egg. Look at that little egg over here. Look at that. So we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 eggs. I mean, my goodness, what a day, huh? To produce all these eggs in one day and really covering the spectrum of eggs too. So it's really cool. And we're just getting started. So 2023 is gonna be a banger. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile. Army, remember, just don't picture it. I'm picturing it now, and it's not a pretty picture. I'll tell you that. Are you joking? It's a beautiful picture.